So back in 2010, she was in the midst. She had divorced her her husband. Oops, is that that's too high, isn't it? Yep. I'm thinking I need to turn clouds off. <laughs> uh yeah. So she was in the she had divorced her husband. Uh, one, two, three, four. It had not been a good marriage. She got some great kids from it. Anyway, in 2010. Two, three, four. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four. In 2010, I went and I visited her. Oh god. My hands are all sweaty. You guys know how well I handle heights. Woof. Hey guys. They're gonna start banging on the door down there. Four. Shouldn't be able to get in. So, okay, now I can boop, 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 ouch. No, dang it. I'm, I'm, I can spare a few pieces. I think I brought too much, but I don't know for sure. <sighs> Sweaty hands. Okay, sorry. So, where was I? Let's go back to red for a little while. So in 2010, in February, I went and saw Kristen to play. And she looked great. Uh, she was a couple years younger than me, as I have said. And um, great singer, great actress. Uh, very sweet amazingly sweet woman. Oh, this is going to be a drop. No, it can't be helped. Ouch. Um, went and saw her in the play, hung out afterwards while uh, she visited with people and that kind of thing. And it was it was really nice. It was really fun. Um, yeah, let's do two more ladders. Just do seven. Afterwards, we stopped at Kroger. We got some beer. Went back to her house. Uh, she hopped in the shower because she had to get her makeup off and everything. And uh, afterwards, we hung out out in the living room. And we chatted. It was very nice. Uh, she said, hey, why don't we have a fire? Because she had a fireplace in her house at the time. Which I was like, cool. That would be nice. I don't want to light these too much because I don't want that to detract from the lighthouse that's going to be up on top. Oh, I'm getting very nervous here. Where are we in time? Okay, we're good for time. We're already on the second floor, although I'm going to need glass. I'm desperately going to need glass. Oh, come on. Seriously? All right, I've got to be right here. Okay, we need to stop putting pieces in because they keep disappearing. So, um, what floor are we on anyway? One, two, three. So we got to do five floors and then stop at the roof. This was much easier to build in creative. I'm all sweaty. Uh, one, two. So, um, so I got a fire started. It was actually quite romantic, although she was sitting on the the chair and I was sitting on the couch. Um, but then. Smoke started pouring out of the top of the fireplace, and um, oh shoot! We messed with the flu. We tried to get it. Oh, get up there! Oh, hands are sweaty. Once the exterior is done, uh, this will be piece of cake, but up until that point I'm going to be very nervous. Now, let's see. Um, this is back to white. Actually, you know what, let's go ahead and put the floor in. I'll be slightly less nervous. Spiders shouldn't be a problem. Oh, not knowing where the floor is going to go might be. Uh, boop. Oh, that shouldn't be too hard to kind of guess to me. 
Anyway, there was there was the fire, uh, the chimney, blah 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 blah. And so, uh, and I was supposed to sleep out out there on the, the couch that night. So we retired to the bedroom and got into bed and hung out and watched some TV and just chatted. And it was very nice, uh, very casual. It ended up becoming very romantic after a very short time. Um, that had not been my intention going up there, to be quite honest. I mean, I mean, I had no intention on Kristen. It wasn't like, ooh, I'm gonna go up here and hook up with somebody. One, two, three, four. See, here's where we're running into the problem with the windows. That's not right. Okay, hold on. Let's figure this out. That's too high. One, two, three, four, five. That's why. Yes, got that one. Okay, uh, anyway. I need more red here. So we're laying in the bed together. We're just chatting. We've kind of cuddled, and which was very nice. And, um... faces were very close together and then we were kissing and it was really nice uh, and we spent quite a while doing that and it was amazing for me um, I was very lonely and this was only a few months after Esther had dumped me, well, nine months, I guess it was February. It was February 13th, 2010. Um, hmm. She was a great, she is, I'm sure, a great kisser. And this was, again, it was somebody who I had had such feelings for in college and was still very attracted to. And as people know who have listened to my videos, I don't get over people. So if I'm attracted to somebody, I'm not sure how much higher I'm supposed to go. If I'm attracted to somebody, oh great, I'm going to have to drop again. Ouch. If I'm attracted to somebody, then I don't stop being attracted to them. Um, unfortunately, I was living in... Raleigh. She was living in Kingsport at the time. It was a five-hour drive. I was also not in the correct frame of mind to be the man that I should have been for her, which was a loving guy who cared about her and wanted to spend the rest of his life for her, with her. And I just wasn't. I wasn't there. Uh, I, was, I was still too hurt with about Esther. I was still too much. Wanting to be with her. One, two, three, four. Let me check a few things. Hey, hey, hey the sun's coming up. All right, hold on. 